no powders, no potions. Um, I don't know if you guys know, uh, I recently broke away from American Top Team. I'm not with them anymore. Um, you know, it's my time to move on, move forward, get things in order for what I need for my brand and for all my other athletes that I have, not just the MMA guys, but also the boxers, the, you know, the judo practitioners. Mm -hmm. I also have high school football and, and, and baseball. So I'm looking to really branch out now and do my thing and opened up a small facility. I, mean, I say 25, 2,500 square feet yeah. in Perfect. It's not it's not in comparison to 40,000 at American Top Team, 2,500 there, but I'm primarily going to be working more from the general public side. So that's more fitness orientated. I wanted to bring quality training to that area in Pompano Beach, where where I actually grew up um, in Broward County, which is about 12 minutes away from ATT. So for that, I was actually going to make that just one you know, home for Drew Strong performance. Um, but then uh, an old client of mine, matter of fact, his name is Mo Vaughn, um, was an ex-baseball player, played for the Red Sox and uh, I think uh, the Mets and a whole bunch of other teams, um, came to me and he asked me if, uh, if I could help him out and actually help coach some of the kids that he's been training because he coaches, you know, batting and, and things of that nature. Obviously, he's a phenomenal hitter. So, you know, uh, I was like, yeah, let me think about it. You know, a year passed. This this was way before he, he asked me about this a long time as I was still at American Top Team. And then um, he recently opened up, uh, I would say, I think it's 12,000, 11,000 square feet, something around the lines of that wow. with 8,000 square feet of working space. And he really, really wanted me to get in there. And I was like, man, I just opened up a sm I just opened up this space here in Pompano. I'm like, I, I wish I could, but I have a lease. I have, you know, things I had in order. He was like, well, what can we do to get you in there? And I was just like, well, what I can do, um, if I, you know, I do want to work with more athletes. I was like, let me get a small area. You know, I can get an area on the side and um, I can help you out. I can help you bring in more people. I know the gym business very well. Um, so now we're partnering up. And uh, now I'm going to make that more the Drew Strong performance side in Boca Raton, which is about maybe 15 minutes from American Top Team. Yep. And then the Pompano Beach one is going to be more of a fitness boot camp style gym. So yep. I have two styles of gyms. The one thing that I've realized, um, I, I opened up my own facility at the age of 22. The one thing that I did mess up on, in my opinion, was that I had too many things in the basket. I had too many things going on at once. And people, it was, you know, paralysis by analysis. There was too many things going on. And so uh, people didn't know where they were coming, where they were going into. You know, they came to a gym where I had, you know, boxing and MMA and jujitsu, and then it had, you know, boot camps, and then it had, you know, strongman training and powerlifting, and it was a bunch of things going on yeah. where, you know, people didn't know what to sign up for at that point. Now, I've realized that people like to just not think so much and go. And for that, it's like, okay, if you're going to the Rouchon Fitness, you're going to be doing the boot camp only, or you're going to be doing one-on-one -on -one personal training with a trainer. If you're going to Jerusalem Performance, which is in Boca, which is inside of Mo Vaughn Sports Academy, yep. that's going to be more performance-based. You're going to be working with, you know, it's a sport, uh, more of a sport athletic feel. So I'll be working with more athletes there. Yep. So that's how it started. And now uh, we're in a beginning process. Right now I'm up in my other facility that's in uh, the Treasure Coast, which is Port St. Lucie. It's about 90 minutes from both of those gyms. And this, I, I went and partnered with one of my uh, one of my managers that used to used to manage my other gyms. Um, so I'm here now, but this is more like a powerlifting gym. And so I have this one up here, and then I have two. So, you know, technically speaking, I have three gyms right now that we're working on. And then obviously, I have the the digital side where we're working on programs and and uh, the online mentorship course. Um, I'm also doing an inter internship program, so where the people can come to me and uh, train with me. And then I'm also in the future, we're looking in India. Uh, there's going to be the first Daru Strong Method certified gym out in India. And then we'll just go ahead and, and uh, make sure that's going worldwide as much as we can. Awesome, brother. I love it, man. Big, big plans. It's going to be fun to see three years from now mm -hmm. that all these have been checked off the list and then what the next yeah. evolution is going to be, right? Con constant evolution. Yeah. Always, always. That was that was one of the reasons why I left ATT was that, you know, I, I felt like there was a ceiling there and I couldn't get past it. You know, at the end of the day, I had a five year goal. I set that five year mark and in four and a half, I, I achieved it. So, 
with that being said, I knew it was my time to really go. And, you know, the good thing is that I still have my fighters. You know, they're still going to come to me in my own facility. They still can train the way I need to train them to get better. And honestly, we're getting better results because of it. You know, I have all the equipment that I need. I have the space that I need and I can train them on my time. You know, so it's it's really good there. I had five, four and a half good years there as a coach. I had 11 good years there, there altogether as a as a fighter and a coach. So I take nothing away from that. You know, the one thing that I can say is that I got a lot of people that are looking to see me, that want to see me fail, and that's not going to happen. So Why we'll is see that? what happens for now. Why is that? Well, does it, does, I just, uh, I don't know. You got to ask them, to be honest with you. You know, I think, um, I think people will see me growing and, and evolving. And when people step out of their house, you know, a lot of times people don't want to see, you know, uh, those people succeed in a way. They want to they wanna say that they had it all because of them, you know. So we'll, we'll see what happens. I but love I'm willing, it. you know. I'm, I love when people yeah. grow. I love it. But you're a different type of individual. You know what I mean? You're you're a person that, that understands evolution. You're a person that understands growth and progression. And, you know, some people don't. Success is infinite. We can all have it. We can all be utterly <laughs> successful, far, far more successful than we could ever dream or even deserve. We can all have that. Um, and yeah. it's a shame that they suffer. Now, are, is this other coaches? Is this, is this athletes? Is, who is this? Is this? What is this? Definitely, definitely no athletes. Definitely not athletes. Um, I love everybody, all the fighters at ATT. I still, they come in, train with me anytime they want. You know, Dustin, Joanna, Edson, Junior, all these guys are still coming over, training. Um, even some of the regional scene guys, that's not the case. You know, sometimes it may be upper management. It may be, you know, it may be other coaches. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, man. I left there because because it was my time to go. It was just, you know, what I felt was important for me and my brand and my growth. And, um, you know, people don't want to see that sometimes. So it's all good. You know, I understand it to a degree, but we'll see what happens because I don't feel like I'm going to stop anytime soon. So, Bro, how pissed are they going to be next year? Like, oh, <laughs> oh, they're going to be so <laughs> mad. They're going to be so butthurt. <laughs> Nah, I don't know, man. I mean, I mean, listen, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to put any words in anybody's mouths, but I just, I feel, I feel certain ways about certain things. hundred percent though, you know, I'm, I'm not even really worried about it. I'm, I'm worried about my own thing. You know, uh, I keep it positive all the time. I'm never really, I never really put out any negativity out there in the world because I don't want anything coming back to me, but I do feel that when my back is against the wall and people are looking for me to fail, that's when I thrive. And I ultimately get success out of that because the fire is lit right then and there. Cause they're looking for me to fail. They're looking for me to not do the things that I set out to do. And uh, I'm still going to check off each goal that I have going further. 